the second book we're reading about sports figures is a picture book of Jackie Robinson. It's written by David A. Adler, and it's illustrated by Robert Casilla. Holiday House is the publishing company. Jackie Roosevelt Robinson, or Jack Roosevelt Robinson, was born on January 31st, 1919, in a small old farmhouse near Cairo, Georgia. His parents were Mally and Jerry Robinson. Jackie's grandfather had been a slave. Jackie was the youngest of five children. His father worked on Jim Sasser's plantation, but he worked for such low wages that his wife said, we're no better off than slaves. Well, Jerry Robinson complained to the owner of the plantation. After that, he was no longer paid wages. Instead, he became a sharecropper. He kept a share of whatever he grew and gave the rest to Sasser. In July 1919, Jerry Robinson said he was leaving to look for better work, and he traveled by train to Florida and didn't come back. After Jerry Robinson left, Sasser told Mally and her children to leave too. O'Malley worked as a maid for a while, then in May of 1920, she took her family west to Pasadena, California, where her brother Burton lived. He had urged her to join him and get a little closer to heaven. For an African-American family, Pasadena was not quite heaven. The public pool was open only one day a week to black. In the movie theaters, blacks had to sit separately from whites up in the balcony. On Pepper Street, where the Robinsons lived, one neighbor called the police because his wife was afraid of African Americans. The white neighbors cursed the Robinsons and even threw rocks at them. They tried to scare them out and then buy them out. But Mally wouldn't move. Jackie loved games and sports. He played dodgeball, stickball, jacks, and marbles. He played to win, and usually did. Well, at John Muir Technical High School and Pasadena Junior College, Jackie Robinson starred in track and field, football, basketball, and baseball. At the University of California at Los Angeles, UCLA, he was a football hero and the first student to star in four sports. Well, in 1940 at UCLA, Jackie Robinson met Rachel Isom, a smart, beautiful nursing student at first, Rachel didn't like Jackie. She thought he was arrogant, but they talked and she realized she was wrong. Jackie was a warm and sensitive man. Well, Jackie Robinson left UCLA on the spring of 1941, a short time before he would have graduated. He wanted to work and earn money to help his mother Jackie went to Hawaii, where he joined the Honolulu Bears, a professional football team willing to have an African-American play for them. Well, on December 7, 1941, the Japanese bombed Pearl Harbor, Hawaii, near where Jackie had lived. Luckily, he was already on a ship heading back to California. Following the attack, the United States entered the Second World War. In 1942, Jackie Robinson was drafted into the Army 
and sent to Fort Riley, Kansas. Jackie complained when he was kept off the Army baseball team because he was black. He complained, too, that the Camp Post Exchange, the PX, restaurant had separate sections for black and white soldiers. Jackie Robinson and other African Americans at Fort Riley applied for training to be officers. They were turned down because they were black. Well, Jackie spoke to Joe Lewis, an African American, the heavyweight boxing champion of the world, and for a while, a soldier at Fort Riley. A few days later, Jackie and other African Americans were admitted to Officer Candidate School. Well, the Army sent Lieutenant Robinson to Camp Hood, Texas. There, on a bus, the driver told him, get to the back where colored people belong. Well, separate seating on an Army bus was no longer allowed. Jackie Robinson didn't move. At the last stop, the military police took him to the duty officer. They argued, and in August of 1944, Robinson was court-martialed, put on trial by the Army for not showing respect to the officer. Well, Jackie Robinson was judged to be innocent, but he had had enough of Army life. He was released a few months later. Well, in 1945, professional baseball was a segregated sport. There was no African Americans playing on any of the major league teams. They played in the Negro League on teams such as the Homestead Grays, the Birmingham Black Barons, and the Kansas City Monarchs. After Jackie Robinson left the Army, he played shortstop for the Monarchs. He was a good fielder and hitter and a fast, smart base runner. Negro League's baseball attracted large crowds, sometimes even larger than all white major league teams playing in the same city. Jackie Robinson didn't know it, but among the thousands of people who had watched him play were scouts for the Brooklyn Dodgers. Branch Rickey, the president of the all-white team, had decided it was time that Major League Baseball became a truly national game, open to all players, black and white. The scouts were looking for an African-American player who was good enough to help the team win and brave enough to be the first black in the all-white major leagues. On August 28, 1945, Branch Rickey met Jackie Robinson. Rickey told Robinson that he'd like him to play for the Dodgers, but he could expect trouble. Rickey said, I'm looking for a baseball player with guts. Guts enough not to fight back. Well, in 1946, Jackie Robinson played for the Montreal Royals, the Dodgers' top minor league team. That year, he also married Rachel Issam, the beautiful nursing student he had met at UCLA. They had three children, Jack Jr., Sharon, and David. In April of 1947, Jackie Robinson reported to the Brooklyn Dodgers. Well, at first, in some cities, he could, could not stay in the same hotels as his white teammates, nor eat at the same restaurants. Ball players on other teams threatened to strike and not play the Dodgers. They insulted Robinson and even kicked him. He received letters threatening him and his family. Baseball players and fans said that the Robinson experiment 
wouldn't work and that blacks and whites couldn't play on the same baseball team. Jackie Robinson proved they were wrong. The year of 1947, Robinson's first on the Dodgers was said to be the toughest first season any ball player has faced. Well, at the end of it, Robinson was selected Rookie of the Year for being the best first-year player in the major leagues. In 1947, he was selected as the most valuable player in the National League. <clears throat> While Jackie Robinson played for the Dodgers, the team won six National League pennants. And each time they played the New York Yankees in the World Series, the Dodgers won in 1955 and were Major League Baseball's world champions. Until after the 1956 season, when Robinson retired, he was one of the best players in baseball. In 1962, he was the first African-American inducted into baseball's Hall of Fame. In 1956, Jackie Robinson was awarded the uh, Spingarn Medal for his sportsmanship and his work with young African Americans. In the years following his retirement from baseball, Robinson worked as the vice president of Chock Full of Nuts Restaurants. He was active in the efforts to get equal rights for African Americans, and he helped establish the Freedom National Bank in Harlem in New York City. Jackie Robinson was stricken with diabetes and heart disease. He died of a heart attack on October 24, 1972. He was just 53 years old. Jack, Jackie Robinson was a gifted athlete, but it was his courage more than his ability to play baseball that made him truly great. Being the first African-American player in the Major League Baseball was an important step toward equal rights for all Americans. The end. <laughs>